Yo, what's up? Guess what? I'm going for another ride. But first things first, I gotta get some food. Mm, yeah, it's a closed fucking holiday. All right, well, no more Mr. Taco today. Can never really go wrong with Jimmy John's. I don't know if they're gonna be open today either. Probably, because the owner's a fucking cocksucker. Man, when I keep my visor up like this, my bike sounds so good in my ears. Look, man, VFW, here we go. Some not so fallen soldiers here. Good for you guys. Don't want to be a fat guy on a bike. Wait, hey, what's up, lady? That's pretty hot, huh? Girls like gardening. I'm going to Taco Jones. If you guys don't know about Taco Jones, check them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, guys. Can't see nothing on these goddamn poles. Quit staring at me, motherfuckers. Nice ride, dude. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna move to Denver at the end of the summer. Cause fuck this shitty weather. That's Holly Rider next to me. Dude's killing it, man. Got a lady on there. No helmets or nothing. Got his legs out. No chance of rain today. Not that I know of. Is this the way they want me to go? I think so. Sometimes I still don't feel confident on this bike. I'm a new rider. Make fun of me all you want, bitches. A lot of you probably don't even have a fucking bike. So yeah, might as well talk about something until something distracts me and I start talking about something else. I will fucking tell you. I'm recently single dude. Yeah, I recently relocated here back to Appleton from Las Vegas. The shit didn't pan out the way it should have. So I was like, fuck this shit. I'm moving back home. So that's what I did. I came back here. Yeah, it's been good. I've been back here February, March, April, May. What was that four months? And uh, here I am today doing some motovlogs. This is where I grew up, but I don't necessarily want to continue living here. So I was thinking last week, like, man, you know, maybe I should move to Denver. Maybe you're wondering, like, what I do for a living. Once this channel gets some subscribers, you guys will start asking that in the comment section all y'all curious motherfuckers and instead of having to tell you later I'll just tell you right now I am a uh, self-employed individual yes I am I've been self-employed for about six years I am a freelance web developer I develop all sorts of different websites web applications um, for different businesses prior to doing that I worked for a corporation for like three years 40 hour a uh, week cubicle shit fucking job fucking miserable fucking daily routine I'm pretty damn good at what I do so yeah that's what I do for a living that's what happened that's why I'm living here what else can I talk about I've been all over the place though to be honest I grew up in I was born in Escondido California but um, lived all over San Diego growing up my mom is from Appleton, Wisconsin. So when I was like 11 or 12, they moved. My parents, my parents wanted a better place for us to grow up and go to school. And and during those years, I just wanted nothing more but to move back to California. And I kept saying, I'm going to move back to California when I turn 18. I'm going to go to college out there. And da -da 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 -da. Well, I didn't quite make it that far out. But when I was 18, I moved out to Phoenix. I got my bachelor's degree. And after that, I was fucking tired of living out there. A lot of shit went wrong for me during those years. And then I moved back to Appleton. I got my first job, drank myself to death alone in my apartment, like a fucking idiot. And um, so I ended up finding a job outside of Milwaukee. So I went out there and got myself my own little apartment down there. 2010, I got laid off. Basically, I collected unemployment and tried to figure myself out. And it's like the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, and then a buddy of mine's mom had recently passed away and they were trying to sell her house so he hired me to move out to Richfield and live in this house basically remodel the whole thing and so I did that for a year and, and during that time is when I met my ex-girlfriend I was like okay we can date but 
just so you know, I am going to go backpacking through Central America with or without you. Flew into Guatemala City and from there over the course of about five months and that's it. And we ended up going through uh, what is it, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua and finally Costa Rica before we ran out of money. And then I was like, you know, we don't have any fucking money left. We better get a plane ticket home. We're gonna be stuck out here. And then we went to, uh, went back to Milwaukee. We, sp we both spent about six months in Milwaukee. And it was during that time, my girlfriend's like, hey, my parents have a house in Las Vegas and they don't live out there yet, but they're gonna retire there in so many years. And uh, we could live out there if we want. She's like, I wanna go to school. And I was like, hell yeah, you know, I'm up for anything. And um, so we moved out to Las Vegas. Things just didn't go for very well for me and my my previous lady friend. Sometimes that relationships just don't work out. Anyways, that's my story. That's where I have been, what I have done. Working for myself was seriously the best thing that could have ever happened. If I hadn't gotten laid off and could not collect unemployment, I just wouldn't have the time. And I'd probably still be stuck in a cubicle. I would have just spent time getting a new job instead of spending time on me and focusing on what I want to do. Instead, I would have been working for somebody else doing what they want me to do. Wisconsin is a beautiful place in the summer. Some people say it's beautiful in the winter, but I don't agree. Snotty. Yeah, call me snotty for sure, yo. They're still here. I think they're probably packing up though. Nobody's here. Nice little fire here. Someone's reading a book. What are they reading? Finding me. Hey, what's up? Sure. I don't know if you guys would be here or not. Are you guys leaving soon? Did you know it was coming up? Did you know it was going to come up? Yeah, I'm sure you did. This door thing's broken already. Jeez. What's up, guys? I'm about to take off here. I think these guys are getting left behind. Look how scared they are. Are you guys getting left behind? No. We can't let that happen. You can't get left behind. Sit up and the doggies are outside. And I'm about to take off on a bike. That's my mom. Good woman there. Let's see what's this way. Here's the Wolf River. Tubing destination. smell of shit out here. I don't really mind the smell of manure, man. Maybe if you're not from around somewhere that has that smell, you wouldn't like it, but if you get used to it, it just becomes part of the fresh air, to be honest with you.
I hit a bird with my car. Shit. I don't really want to ride through that shit. God damn it. Look at this old house. Man, there's like no windows in it. Nobody lives there. Nope. Nobody lives in there. Someone might live in a trailer. I don't think so. Looks like there's... <sighs> it wants me to go that way. I think if it's... Get past this shit. I might be able to take this road up here. I think that's all gravel too, ain't it? Fuck. Fuck this shit. It's all gravel too. Fuck. I don't think I want to ride on this fucking gravel. Nope, I don't. I'm not gonna... I'm not riding on the gravel, bitches. I don't know how many miles of that could be. And I don't want to, I don't want to do it for a couple reasons. I don't want to dirty my bike and I don't want to fucking fall down on that shit. And I don't want to go fucking two miles an hour for three fucking miles, so. Going back the other way. I better not have to end up on that fucking road again. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. I don't know. What's up, cow? That's a big ass cow. Shit. Comes a truck. A truckity duck duck suck fuck. More fucking gravel. So much fucking gravel everywhere. Fuck me, man. I'm sorry about this poor lady behind me. Should have let her go in front. So much fucking gravel out here, man. It's like, like layers of uh, layers of gravel around all the turns. It's just fucked. Tell me in the comments below, would you would you go faster on a turn that has 
obviously has like tons of fucking gravel. Oh god. All this fucking traffic now. Like these 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 normal highways don't have all the gravel. So when you get back into the countryside, just be tons of gravel all over the fucking fucking place. Out here, I don't know if they they must have street sweepers, I guess you call them. Out here. Bike feels so good when you get those high RPMs. Woo, yeah. It feels really good. My shifting can be better. I know that. It's up. And I'll get there. But even with my lack of ability and skill at this point in my riding career, hitting 10,000 RPMs feels fucking awesome.